What's going on? My name is Dominic at DJS Customs. Um, today we're going to be doing a little bit of uh, fake patina painting. Uh, I've got a lot of questions from everybody from some of the stuff that I've posted. Um, so I'm going to kind of walk you through step by step on how I did everything. I am not a painter. I'm sure I'm doing stuff wrong, but it's a pretty cool uh, end product. And uh, you know, if you guys have comments or suggestions to go along with this, feel free to write them in the comments and uh, I hope you guys enjoy. Thanks. So I've already done the hood here. Um, so I'm gonna show you what the hood looks like and kind of walk you through the step-by-step, -step, like I said, of how I'm gonna do this. I would say always start with a black base coat. So the black primer is definitely a good, good way to start before you start building your layers up with colors. All right, so now that you have a, an idea of what we're going for, um, today we're gonna be working on this fender. So like I said, it's already primed black. I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna sand it. It's got some little cracks and some stuff because it's some definitely some older primer that's been on here for a while. So I'm gonna get this all cleaned up. Uh, just a 120 or 80 grit DA sander. And um, I would start with 80 grit if you got some high spots and whatnot, and then work your way down to 120. And we'll get this thing prepped up and, and ready for the first step. All right, so unfortunately I had it on time warp and I filmed a lot and didn't realize that it was on basically time lapse. Um, so we'll go through and explain again. I sanded down the black primer that was already on the truck. Um, the primer is a good base for what we're doing here, so I just kind of left it. But you got the black primer, and then I went over it in the areas that I wanted to look patina with this lighter brown primer. Um, and then I also have a little bit darker flat brown um, and then we have this brown hammered which helps it kind of like fish eye in some spots and give it to like a little bit more of the patina look and then we have the main color here so what I'm doing is I sprayed the primer I'm gonna let this dry and then I'm gonna go back over and start spraying the darker brown um, and while this is still wet, then I'm gonna start spraying the, the main color too, um, just up to the edge of where I want it to start and stop. Um, if you spray them while they're both wet, it kind of makes them blend and be a lot softer of, a, of an edge. You don't really have to sand or anything after that, so. All right, so the primer's kind of dried now. Um, I'm gonna go back over, like I said, with the the darker brown that I have and then kind of start mixing stuff. I'm going to do it all while it's wet. I also have a bottle of soapy water that once it's kind of tacked up, I'll go over, I'll spray it and then I'll spray a little bit more color. So I'll try to talk you through what I'm doing as I'm, as I'm going. So it's still wet, obviously. I'm gonna start laying some other color on it here.
So you can see that it's kind of got some soft areas now. I'm gonna go back through with some more brown and probably a little bit of the hammered too. Go back over the spots that I uh, want to be patina. I'm gonna probably spray them together. And then we'll spray it with some soapy water and a little bit more of the uh, leaf color. So. So I kind of flick some of it on so you get little spots here and there. We're going to go back with a, a rag after too and kind of spot some areas while it's packing up. But go ahead and spray some of the water on now. Go back with a little bit more brown. Here's what we got right now. I'm gonna let this tack up while it's wet. And then we're gonna go back over with a, uh, like a microfiber and just kind of pat a couple different areas. So it's definitely hard to see, but I'm gonna go back over and just kind of pat some of the areas where the water drops are and it'll actually transfer the blue that's caught in the water drops over top of the brown so if you look you can actually see where it kind of transfers this, those spots over right so now I'm just gonna go around and just to my eye kind of I'm going to wipe it down to some of the lighter colors, just kind of pat it. starts to get pretty sticky um, once it gets sticky I try to be done um, kind of patting it here and then we're just gonna let this dry we're gonna let this dry sorry about the camera angle there you can kind of see what we got going on it's already looking pretty damn good 
Once it's all dry, we'll go back through and scotch bright everything, get it nice and even. So now I'm going to go back through and just kind of blow some of the water off before it completely dries. Um, sometimes it gives you a little runs and mixes the colors up a little bit. Looks kind of cool. Uh, do you have to do it? Probably not, but I'm also impatient. Alright, so we're going to let this completely dry um, and then we'll go back over and scotch bright it and we'll see what the finished product looks like. So normally whenever I'm done, I'll do like a full blown automotive two part, you know, with hardener, actual, not just spray paint, actual clear coat. And I'll do a satin clear over top of it or a gloss clear. Um, so let's let this dry and see what it looks like. All right, so we're gonna scotch bright this thing up and then we'll skim over it with the camera so you guys can see what it looks like. All right, let's check this thing out. So overall, I'm definitely pretty happy with how it turned out. There's always some areas that I like more than others, um, but overall, digging it. So I'll open the door real quick and get some sunlight on it. I know it's kind of hard to see with the shop lights and it glares a little bit. So let me get it set up and uh, we'll take some, some video of it outside in the sunlight. All right, so that wraps up the video today with the fake patina. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to get a hold of me on Instagram or comment here. Um, I appreciate you guys watching. If you like this video, like, subscribe, comment, share it, and uh, hopefully this helps you out in the shop. If you guys have something that you want to make a little look look old and don't want to do just a standard uh, paint job on it, this is the method I go to and. I'm sure there's other techniques and, and variations of this that you guys can mess around with, but 